up guys, it's your boy BK. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to defeat Dark Mammal in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Now, the team I used was Wolverine, Deadpool, Ghost Rider, and Nightcrawler. With this team, they are all anti-heroes, and they give you a 12% boost, boost in strength, uh, which comes in clutch when you're fighting Dark Mammal. So what you guys want to do is pick up these relics that are dropping on the ground, and you want to charge them up. In order to charge up the relics, these enemies will shoot beams at you, um, make sure you don't hold them too long because they will end up blowing up um, on you and you have to pick up another relic uh, which is like you lose time or whatever um, it's not that big of a deal but you want to make sure you charge the relic up to its maximum which will be purple and you'll do max DPS and you want to get them down to half health which will start the second phase of this fight now again I'm gonna use I'm using Deadpool and Wolverine for specific reasons because they actually regen health um, my Wolverine is at level 29, so he actually regens 53 every second. And you can actually use ISO crystals in order to boost that up as well. Um, I can show you that in another video um, if you guys like. Um, actually, I will do that in another video. I'll be showing you guys some of the best setups and uh, things that you can be using uh, while playing this game. So now the second part of this boss fight, he's actually going to summon three uh, relics that you have to destroy. One's going to be on the left, right, and center. Um, in order to destroy those relics, you can either fight them head on or you can throw crystals at them or the relics that you charge up from the enemies, uh, which will make it go much faster. And once you have those relics destroyed, you can actually do DPS on that main barrier in the middle, uh, which you have to get down so you can do more damage on your mammal. Uh, with that barrier up, it pretty much blocks everything. And that one move that he just did is pretty much like a, a one hit KO if you are at like low health. Um, you do not want him to do that at all, so like, make sure you avoid that at all costs because it actually cost me a couple runs um, when I was at like low health or I didn't um, have any more lives or whatever. So once you defeat this uh, barrier in the middle, you are free to do more DPS on him uh, by your crystals. And these enemies are much stronger this time, so you want to make sure you are not getting hit a lot. Uh, they actually do hit quite hard, as you can see my Nightcrawler is. He's out the game. He's out the game until I pick him back up. So uh, make sure you charge up these crystals and make sure you just have one person just focusing on Dark Mammal while the other three are focusing on enemies. But if you're doing this solo, um, as I did, uh, just make sure you focus on Dark Mammal and have your CP uh, worried about the enemies and stuff. So again, once this is the third phase and once you get the phase four of the boss fight, um, he will summon another barrier uh, which you have to destroy. And then afterwards, you won't have any more enemies and everything is just like solo. You just have to fight him um, head on uh, with none of his minions uh, distracting you. So with this part, all you have to do is just destroy the barrier um, via crystals, which works as well. Um, they actually do a lot of damage, a lot of damage when you're throwing them at that barrier. So uh, make sure you get those crystals charged up so you can destroy that barrier much quicker. And after this part, um, it's game on because you have to fight Dora Memo head on. And again, you do not want to get hit with that one move that he does where he's charging up his hands. Um, that actually will wipe your whole, your whole uh, run, uh, which sucks. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick guide on how to defeat Dora Memo. If you guys were stuck on it as I was. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a like. Also hit that sub button. I'm almost at 31,000 subs. So uh, let's hit that sub button and make that happen. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.